Bye. All right, welcome back. Uh, so today we are going to gonna we're gonna make the shooting a little bit better. So if we play it now and we shoot uh, a short distance, the ball goes uh, really high up in the air and it just doesn't really look natural. But it does good on long shots. So we need to make it more dynamic. Uh, and the way we're going to do that is we are going to adjust the um, the duration based on the um, distance between between the shot aim position and the ball position's position. So it's going to be kind of verbose, but uh, what we're going to do it is we are going to say if math absolute position not position um shot aim dot position minus um minus ball position dot position dot magnitude if that is greater than we'll do 140 um then All right, there's that, but we also need to come right here and comment this out. Copy this. I know this is really kind of messy, but uh, I think it's going to work. All right, let's group something up. <clears throat> 4 kicks look much better. Long kicks so I think that's fine. Got powers is weak. So let's crank the shot power way up. Let's see what it looks like. So we're actually going to, while we're at it, <clears throat> Stop using this player module script. I know I talked about how great this was, but uh, we're actually going to stop doing it. Um, just because, I don't know, we've got everything else in this player manager script and we're doing everything on the client anyways. So, yeah, I'm just going to do it in, <clears throat> in here. Excuse me. Uh, so, we're just going to have a local hot power. 
and shooting local shooting false. Uh, we're just going to comment these out for right now. We're going to go back over to the player manager and uh, we're just going to turn every player module. We're just going to get rid of every player module. All right. So let's crank up the shot power to be like 10. So the uh, ball that that travels on our forward axis whenever we start shooting should travel a lot faster now. Launching the ball way out there. See, that's how we can increase shot power. So we've made it more dynamic. We've made it uh, just better all around for shooting. Uh, if we get really close, it will. Well, there, there's how it shoots close. That's that's good. That's what we want. And we could actually make it even better um, by just adding more levels of the, I don't know, like any, it's like anything over 140 right now, it's going to be one second. So these really far ones, it needs to be launched higher on the, like the super far ones, like this is super far. I mean, it works. It's just like a missile. That's pretty good, though. All right, that's going to wrap up this video. Uh, we have just made our shooting more dynamic by adding different, uh, just different tiers to the, the, uh, duration at which we shoot which makes absolutely no sense when i say it out loud but we made our shooting better uh a lot better uh we can actually come back later if, we're, if we want to and uh, make it even better by adding like a, a tier for 160 a tier for 180 a tier for 200 uh we'll just have to like We'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. Uh, we're eventually going to measure the distance. Uh, like if we, if for every goal we score, we're going to measure our distance to the goal, like the the distance of the goal. Um, and so we can see how far uh, that the that the field goes, basically. So we know. How many tiers we'll probably have to add a lot more tiers to this shooting but anyways uh yeah that's gonna wrap up this video uh thanks for watching i will see you guys in the next one i'm trying to crank these out uh, as quickly as possible because i want i want to get a, i want to get a simulator game made we're gonna try to actually see if we can monetize this game make some robux off of it so we will see uh See you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.